Here. 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 Do we have any conflict of interest statements? No. No. Approval of the minutes of the meeting of August 9th, 2018. Motion to, to defer the reading of uh, August 9th minutes. I second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Item A, bid opening, 5th District Lighting Project, Phase 1, Ridgeland Avenue from 171st Street to 169th. We have two bids. The first is from Hawk Enterprises, Crown Point, Indiana. I can't believe it's 78 in here. And they have their bid bond, their form 96. Total bid price is $98,956.96. And our second bid is from Midwestern, Midwestern Electric, East Chicago, Indiana. They have their bid bond. Their form ninety six. And their non collusion affidavit. And their total bid price is one hundred and twenty seven thousand two hundred and fifty seven dollars and fifty cents. Do I have a motion to refer these to engineering for tabulation and recommendation? Uh, so moved. I second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Item B, request for advertising dates of August 30th, 2018 and September 6th, September 6th, 2018 with a bid opening date of September 20th, 2018 for demolition of 1329 170th Street, 1818 Bower Street, 5603 Calumet Avenue, 6241 Calumet Avenue, 242 Doty Street, 18 Elizabeth Street, 1114 Eaton Street House, 6412 Euclid Avenue, 7601 Golfway Court, 7620 Golfway Court, 411 Hoffman Street, two buildings, 4735 Holman Avenue, 6020 Holman Avenue, 7550 Linden Avenue, 506 Locust Street Shed, 1317 Michigan Street, 7150 Oakdale Avenue Garage, 4938 Pine Avenue, two parcels, 6145 Ray Avenue, 2123 Sherman Street, 19 Waltham Street, 46348 William Street Garage, 7030 Woodlawn Avenue Garage. <laughs> We're good. Motion. Mo yeah, that's, uh, it. that's all I've got. That's all you've got. All right. Mo motion to approve the advertising dates for uh, bid openings. And I'll second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Item C, bid recommendation received from Nice Engineering for the Kenwood Street Reconstruction Project, Kennedy Avenue 2 Alley. I, talk I talked with Mark. And the recommendation is to approve to the most lowest responsive responsible bidder with Riley Construction in the amount of 196, 848, and 89 cents. Do I have a motion to approve the recommendation? Motion to approve. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Item D, correspondence received from Councilman Mark Kalwinski requesting 81,500 of gaming funds to be transferred from the Maiden Lane Roosevelt Drive. Hammond Court and Torrance Avenue Lighting Improvement Design Contract with United Consulting. This has been signed by the mayor and the councilman. Motion to approve the councilman's request. I second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. 
Item E, agreement with United Consulting for Engineering, Engineering Services for the First District Lighting Improvement Design of Main Lane, Roosevelt Drive, Hammond Court, and Torrance Avenue. And that goes along with the Councilman's request for funding. Do I have a motion to approve? Mo motion to approve the agreement with United Consulting. I second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Item F, supplemental agreement number one with First Group Engineering for the pedestrian refuge island on 173rd Street between Woodmar Avenue and Ontario Avenue, DES number 1601163, submitted for approval. And This is 8020, and this is for the extension of um, bus turnouts to help uh, for Purdue to make the intersection even more safe. When is Where this? Where the bus is going to Yeah, it'll just get be off. a little knockout off gotcha. of... 173rd so that they can get out of the lane of traffic. When is this one going to uh, move forward? Uh, I'm not too sure, but I, I want to say... Uh, NERPSI? Yeah. That's, that's what Mark told me this morning. Is it, is it happening this construction season? No. No. no this, I believe the end of 19, if, I can, if I'm recalling right. I would have to verify. All right. Yeah. It might be let end of 19, started in 20. Okay, do I have a motion to approve? Motion to approve. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Item G, correspondence received from Hammond Police Chief John Doty, requesting that Officer Jose Velez be promoted to the rank of second class patrolman, effective August 11th, 2018, requesting that correctional officers Xavier Aurelio, Catherine McCarthy, Tyler Cruson be promoted and receive the promotional raises effective August 10th, 2018, and approvals for the 4800 Beach Avenue Block Party, New Salem Baptist Church Police presence for August 25th, 2018, and street closure of the 1900 block of Atchison Avenue. Do I have a motion to approve the Chief's requests? Motion to approve the Police Chief's requests. I second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Item H, correspondence received from Councilman Bill Emerson requesting 60000 of gaming funds to be transferred to the Park Gaming Fund to be used for Fourth District Park improvements. It's been signed by the Councilman and by the Mayor. Motion to approve the Councilman's request. I second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Item I, correspondence received from Councilman Dave Warple requesting $50,000 of gaming funds be transferred to the Park Gaming Fund to be used for Fifth District Park improvements. Signed by the Councilman and the Mayor. Motion to approve the councilman's request. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Item J, correspondence received from Hammond Cowan Council President Janet Venez requesting the sewer drain on the 5900 block of road be fixed to drain the water. Um, and it looks like this was a request by Councilman Higgs at a recent council meeting. doesn't show that it's been sent to engineering or public works yet, um, so I'll entertain a motion to refer this to the engineering and public works departments. So moved. Maybe sewer I department too? Yes. I would do sewer, do sewer. engineering. Yes. Okay. okay. No second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Item K, correspondence received from Westland and Bennett, confirming they have been retained to handle condemnation cases for Chicago Street Project. Do I have a motion to approve that engagement? Motion to approve uh, the engagement, yes. <laughs> I second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Item L, correspondence received from Mobileye LLC requesting permission to install three poles with small cell equipment located at East 165th and Howard, Parish Avenue and 169th Street, East 139th Street and Holman Avenue submitted for approval. Have we reviewed this? Yes, we actually had a meeting with um, the company that is doing this, and um, all those locations were vetted through engineering. Okay. You good? Mm -hmm. Motion to approve the uh, request. I second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Item M, demolition hearing regarding property located at 242 Doty Street. Good morning. Good, good morning. morning, sir. As you recall, this is a property we set over from July 26. This is a house on Doty. If you look at the house, it, it looks it looks presentable from the front. Their issue where there's a sinkhole or something on the side that's actually causing the foundation to collapse. Uh, yes, please. A turbulina up here. It's a rough day. Quality. Attorney Molina uh, appeared at the hearing on the 26th and indicated his client had fixed it. 
And the problem being, though, is they didn't have any permits. So right now we're just in the process of making sure that the repair was done correctly, which will require a structural engineer, which means it wasn't able to be accomplished by today's date. So I would like to go out 30 days for a Thursday that would work with Mr. Molina's schedule, and hopefully if everything just thumbs up, we wouldn't even have to have the hearing on it. Where are we at? 30 yeah, that's exactly what I was going to ask. Um, <laughs> okay. September 20th? Uh, September 20th, does that work for that you? Works will perfect. that work for you? Yeah, that works okay. perfect. Okay, the motion will be to set over the status for 242 yeah. Doty Street until September 20th. I second. Yeah, exactly. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Item N, demolition hearing regarding property located at 4938 Pine Avenue. This one's a little strange. Uh, he, they have attorney Doug Kovachkov. This is the property that has actually two lots. One is owned by one person re represented by attorney Wyatt. The other, the house is represented by attorney um, Doug Kovachkov, and he's not usually so nonchalant about showing up. So I would just ask that perhaps we set this over till September 20th, and I will send him a letter informing him of the hearing on that date. Okay. Um, one week? September 20th. Oh, all right, the motion is to set over for status till... Uh, if we're going to do it, let's just do them all on September 20th. September 20th. I'll second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Item O, hearing on property located at 7222 Jackson. Is this a S rental hearing? <coughs> this is something that was bought off the demolition list. They had um, mm -hmm. signed a rehab agreement. The work they did was inferior. Um, we advise them that to go forward, they need to get licensed contractors. The only thing that's been done since that time was they hired an electrician and to put in a new service that has passed. Um, other than that, um, they did replace the front window that needed to be uh, tempered glass um, with a sliding window, no permits. Some very little soffit has been put up, no permits. Um, the front porch is basically sitting on um, cement block. Um, that porch needs to come down. We had it exposed. Um, it, it was built incorrectly. The roof um, is in need of repair. Uh, I believe some rafters may be cracked, um, so we needed that inspected by a licensed contractor. Um, the interior itself is not in too bad a shape. It's actually pretty sound. So we're, one of the reasons we're holding off on, on the demolition order that we've had for some time um, but in, in this process, they, are just, they just don't seem to understand. There's kind of a language barrier. Um, my Chinese Mandarin is not too good. Um, so we're really having an issue in, in conveying how important it is that they get these contractors at least, well, at this point, they get contractors signed and contracts signed to do the repair work. Um, I suggest we put this over on the 20th. Um, Attorney Cantar is going to send them a letter letting them know that these are issues that need to be addressed, need to be addressed immediately. There's Several people have called me an interest in buying this house, and, and I, I, not that we get in, in between all that, but it may very well be an option if they don't have the money to hire the contractors that they consider um, selling this place. Okay. Thank you. Motion to set over for status uh, to September 20th. A second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Item P, correspondence received from Indiana Harbor Belt Railroad requesting street closures for Seoul Avenue from September 24th to October 5th, 2018, submitted for approval. This has been reviewed and approved by the engineering department. Motion to approve the request from uh, Indiana Harbor Belt. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Item Q, correspondence received from Walsh and Kelly requesting to close the curbside lane of Columbia Avenue southbound to Goslin Street to the railroad tracks beginning Saturday, August 18th with all lanes open by Saturday, August 25th, submitted for approval. And this has also gone to engineering and has been approved. Anything you want to add to that? No, uh, we did an overlay and they just have to adjust the, the sewer casting. So they just need to, it's safer to close the lane down and get it done all at once. Okay. Motion to approve Walsh and Kelly's request. I second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Item R, correspondence received from Goff requesting the closure of Orchard Drive between Arizona and California Avenue submitted for approval. Do we have a timeline on that one? Uh, two working days. Any idea when they want to start? I'm not too sure. This is the, the parks project. Um, we don't see an issue with the closure, but we can definitely find out and verify the 
the exact time and you know they did say two days but I don't know when they want to start it's a pretty well traveled road but yeah. oh yeah um, but they need to I believe that closure is for to tie into the water and sewer yeah, for the it, facilities they indicate that they're going to be working with the water department to coordinate this work so maybe they need to still schedule that out do you anticipate that they would want to start before next week's meeting I couldn't answer that but we can definitely find out why don't we um, have a motion to approve subject to the review of dates by the engineering department so moved by second all those in favor aye, aye. Item as correspondence received from Nick Gilbert requesting to place a dumpster in the street at his residence at 838 Morris submitted for approval. Um, I'll let you take a look at that. Yeah, I meant to look at that yesterday and I didn't do it. 838 Morris, I mean, it's just right over here, right? Mm -hmm. That way. Yeah. Properties are put out, no driveway, it's the only option. No timeline. some more information please um, I'm going to motion to set this over at least till next meeting next week um, due to the fact that there is not any timeline for the dumpster to be set in the street I'll second all those in favor aye, aye. NMT correspondence received from First Baptist, Church, First Baptist Church of Hammond requesting road closure of Oakley Avenue between State Street and Willow Court for Monday August 20th from 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. submitted for approval This got something to do with you, sir. Okay. Could you step up, please? I think it's back to school or something. Maybe have they ever closed it? I don't remember ever closed. We're having a training session with all of our staff from Heyman Baptist, Hiles Anderson College, City Baptist, and First Baptist. We weren't to serve a meal, but there's about 500 people that's going to be there. We don't have one room big enough to do it, so we were going to see if we could set up um, tables and chairs to have the meal on Oakley Street in between um, State and Willow. So it's where the old federal building's at and the building across the street, it's the, the little, it's really like a cut through street. It's On not the north either and south there from Willow, Willow Court to. Uh, yes, sir. Can I also have you state your name for the record for I'm a I'm sorry, sec? Aaron Eggers, I apologize, okay. Assistant Pastor. Okay. So, uh, I think it's really okay. I do too. It's where the closures are right now. Mm -hmm. Okay, there's yeah, still ways people get through. Yeah. yeah. Okay. A motion, motion, to approve, uh, motion to approve the request. I right, second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Thank you. Item U, correspondence received from Laura Bates, Challenger Learning Center, requesting permission to hold their Space Race 5K for Saturday, September 22nd, 2018, at 6.45 p.m. with the attached route submitted for approval. Where do you want to send? You guys probably want to look at this. I think so. Street yeah, committee. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, let's see. September. Oh, we got time. Uh, I motion to set this to, to the police department as well as public works. Uh, with, with our approval and theirs. I second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Item B, correspondence received from Scott Tabernacki from the St. John the Baptist Catholic School requesting street closure of Lincoln Avenue between 119th Street and Benedict Avenue on August 19th, 2018 from 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. to hold their annual back to school picnic submitted for approval. Next week. Yeah, we don't have time. It's next Saturday. It's Sunday. It's what day is it? The 19th? It's Sunday. a Sunday. Yeah. Oh. I think we're okay. Right? I do too. Yeah, we'll, go yeah. ahead. we'll roll with it. Okay. I, I motion to approve uh, St. John the Baptist request. And I second. All those in favor? 
Aye. Aye. Item W, rental registration hearing request. Mm -hmm. A motion to set a uh, rental registration hearing request for September 20th. I'll second. All those in favor? Uh, Aye. Aye. Item X, garage sale permit submitted for approval. Thank you. Thank you very much. You know, Elvis died today. Thank you. You know, Elvis died today. I, I did that in honor of him. It's an always no more number than the other one. Motion to approve the uh, garage sale permits. And I second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Item six, matters from other board members. I do have. Of course. Two. Two. The first being, um, Hammond and Business Lice uh, hearing scheduled for August 23rd. Uh, the city attorney for Hammond will, has a conflict that day. We would like to move this to August the 30th, 2018. Chris, I'm, are you involved with this one? That's okay, it's a business license denial and uh, the basis for the denial was the individual actually has a pending criminal, um, criminal driving, reckless driving, has a pending reckless driving and during the period of time while that reckless driving was pending, she obtained an auto theft um, could, uh, charge. So she has two pending criminal charges and she wants a business license. I think it's up in Robertsdale. Um, perhaps the reason for the continuance is those cases will be resolved and of course if those cases are resolved then there's no issue. However, you know, even under criminal law 353385, a person who commits an offense while on a bond or, uh, or parole for another offense is considered a danger to the community. And if they're certainly considered a danger to the community for criminal purposes, they're certainly considered a danger to the community for business purposes. So we can do it on the 30th, that's fine. Have we coordinated with them? Uh, we'll just send a letter. Because okay. it was sent Is it their the request that's a move? Correct. Yeah. Oh, okay. their request. I thought it was ours. Uh, no, it's mine okay. as well. I, I'm not available on the 23rd. I have to be over at the street department all day. So that's fine with okay. me is if they're requesting the 30th and they're that or even if they're acceptable to the 30th that's fine for me okay, okay. that works so the, mo the yeah the motion is to set this over for august 30th uh with us notifying them and i'll second all those in favor aye, aye. aye. secondly a request from comcast a request for a permit to conduct some Borings over on uh, 6518 Columbia Avenue. I think a truck or something handled one of their things. And they got to get it fixed. Okay. Uh, I have a motion to approve Comcast request. And I second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Any other matters from other board members? No. Item seven matters from other department heads or their representatives. Any new business? Old business? The meeting is open to the public. Oh, in order to uh, keep this meeting from becoming volatile, I motion to adjourn. <laughs> and I second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Aye.